How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to the farm. Uh, yeah, I have a farm. It's like a legit thing now. There's there's baby goats being born in a few weeks. I've got the chickens. I'm building the garden beds. We got a livestock guardian dog. It's like a it's like a real thing now. Kind of blows my mind. Um, but also yesterday we had our first ever chick hatch. Look at this sweet little girl. This is a cream crested leg bar, or sorry, crested cream leg bar. And she just hatched out yesterday. And oh my God, she's so sweet. Mwah. I'm going to put her back in the brooder. There we go. But the nice people at Chick Cozy asked me to review their incubator. And I am going to do a full review video on this because I wanted to go through one hatch on my own first because I've never hatched eggs before. I wanted to make sure I knew how to do it. Uh, I didn't want to like hatch out and then have a terrible, uh, you know, just not do it right or something and then give this awesome product a bad review for my inexperience. But let me tell you, as a first time hatcher or incubator, I guess, um, it couldn't have been easier. It was almost like a really set it and forget it. Um, so this was super, super cool. Um, by the way, if you did want an incubator, I also have a really cool um, brooder plate slash heater. That's not the one I'm using in the small brooder. Um, I'm using that one for uh, some older meat birds right now. And I'll, I'll show you that in another video when I'm doing the meat birds and all that fun jazz. But they also have a really cool heating plate um, that's very, very safe. Bug, what are you doing in my closet? Bug always has to make a cameo. She's always in the background somewhere. Um, but yes, I had the Chick Cozy incubator. It was super easy to use. If you need an incubator, if you need a brooder, a, a door, all sorts of chicken supplies, um, you can actually use the code AWESOME5 at chickcozy.com and that'll save you 5% uh, on anything you order. So that's just something. But I've got these little guys in here not all of these eggs have hatched yet. They actually, they hatched two days early and I'm not sure why, but I was talking to the woman I got the hatching eggs from and apparently I'm not the only one that she's recently sent eggs to that had them hatch two days early. So um, it sounds like it's the eggs. It's not something I did or something with the brooder. Um, Maybe they were just a little beyond where they were. I, I don't know. But either way, we've had a really good hatch rate so far. I'm still waiting on a few more eggs, but these guys have been in here close to 48 hours. And it's time to get them into the brooder. So we're going to just look at some cute fuzzy chicks today. That's what we're going to do. We're going to look at cute chicks. So you don't want to open the incubator, really, when you're still hatching out because the humidity will... You just come on out and it could endanger the eggs that are hatching but like these guys really need to get out they're they're filling up <laughs> it's like you know when jiffy pop and you pop the popcorn and they boop, 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 boop. that's kind of what we're doing in here with chicks so let's look at the chicks that we've got um all right so that's one cream crested leg bar what i'm doing here is i'm just there is a handle on top of the brooder here and I'm just lifting it a tiny bit, sneaking my hand under and grabbing a chick. So whatever I grab is what I grab. Whoops. Aww. And this is a barred rock. Uh, this may be, may or may not be a rooster. I don't really quite know how to tell yet. We're gonna find out though. But there's a little barred rock. We're gonna dip his beak into the water so that they know where to find it and put him down with this cream crested leg bar friend. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> oh. oh, see, that is why I need to get them out of the brooder. This one seems to have a little bit of pasty butt, so we're going to fix that, but this is an Ancana. They are pretty black chickens with um, white speckles. And uh, they lay a white egg. I wanted more white layers, but I didn't want to get leghorns again. All right, let's see. We're going to get... Whoop. 
Hello, what are you? Oh, I can tell by that puffy little face. Look, it's so cute. Um, that this is an Americana. Yay, oh, so pretty. I'm gonna go give you the dip dip. Can you dip you? No? There we go. All right. I'm just watching my humidity gauge that's in here. I've got uh, my Govi thermometer, which I didn't buy for hatching. Apparently, that's what the professionals uh, use for hatching. And I know Steph over at Parsley Farm is going to laugh at my professionals little thing. Steph, that's for you. Um, so I've got my Govi monitor in here monitoring the temperature and the humidity um, separately from the humidity and temperature gauge that's on the Chick Cozy. I wanted to see how accurate it was and it's actually pretty accurate at uh, measuring because they were pretty much on the same level the whole time. So as long as the humidity stays above uh, 60, I think these other eggs should be should be just fine. So let's go get the baby laying on the thermometer. <laughs> Oh, and this is another Americana, and look at, or Americana, um, look at how different, oh, wait, 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 I could be very wrong about that. This one has feathered feet, hmm, this is supposed to be a black copper moran, but it, it's awfully light and, 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 and yellow. I don't know, but it's, it seems to have the cheeky puffs for a, for a, um, Americana. So I, I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. There we go. Let's see. Oh, this is a pretty one. What are you? Oh, this is a crested cream leg bar. Um, you can see it's different from the other one, though, and it's got this little dot on the top of its head, which means this is a rooster, and I don't especially want roosters. I might keep one. One might go to a friend. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, the rest are um, destined to be, be dinner. Um, let's see. Boop. Uh, what's my humidity at? This is another cream crusted leg bar and you can see the difference where she's darker and there is no little dot on her head. She's got a darker stripe. So this one should be a hen. That's good. I was hoping I had six cream crusted leg bar eggs. And I'm hoping for three hens. If I have three pullets, then I am a happy, happy camper. Okay. Oh, here's another one of the Americanas. So cute and fluffy. Look how fluffy. Hmm. That one does not have feathery feet. Uh, I'm going to have to count the toes on that last one there. <laughs> All right. What's my humidity at? We're still at 60 something. So we're good. Woo. Oh, more puffy faces. So I think this is also an Americana. There we go. We're going to get him in there. Uh, let's see. Here is another Ancana. Cute. I've lost track of how many chicks we've pulled out of here. Oh, uh, where's our humidity? I can't see it. Oh, 
this guy's still a little tiny bit wet. Ooh. Oh, and this one, this is a French black copper Morans. And see the feathery feet? That's what's making me suspicious of that other one, but it's such a different color. Um, I know that the breeder has a whole bunch of different Morans. She has a wide variety of Morans. I wonder if she gave me an extra or gave me one that was not the French black. Uh oh, I have a chick here who is stuck. That's not good. Oh, chicky, come on. Woo, okay. That was bad, okay. Here is another barred rock, and the poor thing, its leg is a little funny because its toe was caught in the rubber mat on the, the chick cozy. I don't know if I like that. Um, well, let's put him in and see how he does because his leg is a little wonky now. give him some space to move around and a chance to move his leg but he's a more recently hatched chick hopefully he'll be all right I think it is a I think it is a rooster based on how big his his uh the white spot on the back of his head is let's see and we have another Ancona Um, another cream crested leg bar and it's a pullet. We have, I, I think, yeah, I think, I, I think so. I thought maybe I saw her a little bit lighter on the back, but I, I think, I think this is a pullet. So we have three pullets. Whoop, 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 whoop. You're so cute. You're so cute. All right. Uh, let's see. Ooh. We have another black copper Morans. Uh, whoop. This is another one of the, I think, Easter Eggers. Yeah, that's another Easter Egger. Well, Americana, Easter Egger. I, I don't know. Some people say they're the same. Some people say Americanas versus Ameri Americanas. You know, Ameri Americanas are Easter Eggers, but Americanas are a separate breed. I I don't know, there's a big, everybody tells you different. We have another Encana, sweet thing. There we go. And last but not least, we have another Black Copper Morans, French Black Copper Morans. Yeah, that one other chick, that it had feathered legs, but it was a very different color. So I'm I'm confused on that one. Okay, so we've got seven eggs left in the incubator. We have two barred rocks, two French black copper marans, two cream crested leg bars, and one ancana. But I'm really excited. I did get the three pullets that I wanted for the crested cream leg bars. I also wanted three pullets for the French black copper marans, but uh, you know, time will tell if we have roosters or hens there because they're not auto-sexing um, like the the uh, the leg bars are. 
but I'm really excited. So 18 chicks is not bad. Today is actually supposed to be hatch day. So we'll see. I've got high hopes that uh, we'll still get a few more here. Um, yeah, I'm crossing my fingers that they're still going to hatch. We'll just wait because it's only, it was day 21 at like nine o'clock last night. So there's plenty of time. We'll give them a day or so, see if they hatch. We'll add them to the brooder. But uh, we got 100% hatch rate on the Americanas, which is pretty great. Um, let's see, and then we had... Let's see, six French black copper moran eggs, six crested cream leg bars, and then I think I did four each of the Americanas, Ancanas, and uh, Plymouth Bard Rocks. Um, we got one extra Americana egg. Uh, she gave me just a couple extras just in case, and uh, so I picked out of the two. Um, it was a Bard Rock or an Americana. Um, I picked the Americana because pretty eggs. Um, yeah, so not all of these chicks are for me. Um, some of them are for friends, but I did want one pullet from each breed. So that's what I've got. So I will have five, maybe six <laughs> that I keep for myself and I may or may not keep a rooster. Uh, we have a rooster that may go to a friend of mine. Um, it all kind of depends on how things shake out, but I have a few different people that uh, some of these chicks are going to, and there we go. So let's look at some cute fuzzy chicks. All right, so the Chick Cozy Incubator worked pretty well. I'm gonna do a full review video on it when I set my next batch of eggs. So it was really easy to use. It's literally, you just open it up. There are little inserts inside where you set the eggs. It can hold 25 eggs at a time. It auto rotates them and uh, it did a really good job. It does have a candling uh, light up here on the top. It's got the humidity and temperature up here and as well as the controls, really easy controls. You've got the drawer here for uh, water, for moisture. I did at one point put a sponge in there, but I, I don't think I really actually needed it. It was doing just fine on its own. Um, right now we're, we're hoping that the last of these few eggs will hatch, but pretty decent hatch rate so far. I'm excited. I can't wait to see what we get. So uh, follow along. We'll see how many roosters we got, uh, how big these chicks go and where they're going. Because let me tell you, one of those videos where some of these chicks is going is going to be really fun and uh, really funny, actually. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.